everyone welcome to my youtube channel i am no species in today's video we'll be talking about shaving mistakes and how they damage our skin and also safety rules on how to have a perfect shave if you are new to this youtube channel please kindly hit the subscribe button if you are returning viewers to subscribe on this same channel i am saying thank you so back to the topic of discussion what are those mistakes common mistakes that when we shave we tend to have some of those reactions we are not supposed to get irritation bumps ingrown hair are as a result of malhandling during shaving and we can always get this right and that is the reason why this particular video have been made so if you are watching this video and you have encountered any of this mistake you are at liberty to be able to correct it and change it to get that perfect desired sh shape that you would want to have free from irritation bumps or any form of adverse reaction that comes with careless shaving so what are those safety rules we or one should observe when shaving or before shaving one of it is do not forget to hydrate the skin why is it very important that you hydrate the skin before shaving hydrating your skin before shaving helps to reduce or helps to prevent irritation what are those irritations one can get from shaving without hydrating if you hide if you shave without hydrating you tend to have irritation such as itching and once you start itching those things become reddish and some of them my father stay there and become bumps to those individuals so if you hydrate your skin before shaving you are saving or preventing yourself from irritation the next point is do not dry shave what do i mean by do not dry shave don't shave without hydrating without moisturizing your skin because you moisturizing your skin makes the work a lot more easier because when you dry shave you tend the friction between the skin and the blade this could be the razor either a razor blade or the shaving stick you are using the friction tends to increase and when you dry shave with this increased friction there's a high possibility of shaving out the upper layer of the skin which have a very important protective function to the general human body apart from the protective function if you keep dry shaving you would tend to advance into the damage which will cause bleeding the next point is do not use dull blades most individuals are fond of reusing blade old blades and shaving stick why is this not advisable it tends to make the work a lot more difficult for you and they won't cut your hair those dull blades don't tend to cut hair easily because the hair on its own is thick the hair around those regions are usually thick and using a dull blade would not get the job done purchasing a blade go for the best and try as much as possible to discard old blades and avoid reusing them to prevent those blades from tagging along with the hair tagging along to the hair makes it painful and they won't cut the hair the next point is do not apply pressure when shaving what do i mean by this most individuals are fond of applying a lot of pressure that's using a lot of energy now to hold down that blade when they are shaving when you do this you tend to increase your risk for scarring hyperpigmentation bumps irritation and even cuts because those things those areas of the body are very sensitive and when they get exposed to any form of cuts it takes time for some of those scars avoid the next point is avoid multiple passes 
what do i mean by multiple passes most individuals tend to go over area they've shaved before a couple of times before going to the next area this is very wrong why is it wrong most especially if you're using a new blade you are not supposed to be doing that as you are only exposing and taking out the upper layer of your skin which i told you is very important it has its own protective function to the skin so you need to avoid that if you have the habit of multiple passes try and just strike once then you move to the next place strike once strike once and strike once so that you have a clean cut and avoid taking out that upper layer of the skin which is very important and if you continue this habit of multiple passes that going over a particular area you shaved severally there is a high possibility that you would get to the dermis the dermis is that very sensitive part of the skin that is very rich in blood vessels and when you get to the dermis the evidence of being in the dermis when shaving is bleeding so when you start seeing blood and at any point you are bleeding just know that you have encroached into the dermis and you need to stop going to that place because you are not supposed to ordinarily when you are shaving then the last point i will be sharing here the last safety rule to prevent shaving damages to the skin is do not forget to moisturize after shaving one of the irritation i have known for myself to have observed after shaving is this itching i tend to itch every time i shave then i then discover that what happens during shaving is when you shave when you shave the hair the hair on the skin is there to protect the skin from evaporation which is water loss from the surface of the skin and when you are taking out this hair from the surface of the skin it tends to increase the rate of water loss from the skin surface which is known as transepidermal water loss so when you keep doing this you shave without moisturizing you are only exposing yourself to this trans epidermal water loss and you need to conserve water as much as possible in your body so to help moisturize the skin you can either go after shaving with a vaseline or there are other moisturizing products that's ones in supermarket that you can get to help hydrate and moisturize your skin after shave i hope this video has been helpful to you i hope you've gotten value from this particular topic that has been shared if you are yet to subscribe to this youtube channel please kindly hit the subscribe button and do not forget to like and drop comments on videos on this channel thank you for watching